Yeah, hi, uh, it's Keith. Um, I promised to do the introduction to the uh, high voltage inverter, the 50 kilowatt inverter. Um, we've got two batteries. This is our battery. We've got two stacks of batteries, two stacks of 12 batteries, um, all in series. So it's high voltage, it's giving us um, roughly 600 volts. Um, two battery controllers, um, I call them PMS, but they call them a battery controller. Um, so a few things to bear in mind is when you're actually wiring this thing up and you're doing the final connections, um, actually using uh, these things, rubber gloves, um, you know, no matter how confident you are, um, even myself as a fairly experienced engineer, I will always use rubber gloves with these things, even switch the thing off and on because it can be dangerous. You've got to be so careful. Okay, so basically booting up procedure, um, we initially switch on the power, we switch on the power here. Um, never switch the power off when it's on load. So switch the powers on. Start up, start up, we've got high voltage lights. I realize you guys will be using lots of different types of battery, but all I can do is describe it using our battery, and then you can obviously understand where you can use it with a different battery. Um, on the inverter itself, you'll notice you've got two battery ports. Um, these are basically 50 amp each. Um, you can wire them in parallel, and if you wire them in parallel, you go onto the battery settings on, on the inverter itself, and you go to battery settings, it says parallel battery inputs. So you can, you can mark them as parallel inputs here. And that means the two inputs can be parallel and give you 100 amp, or if you're using two sets of batteries, you can put one set of battery in one port, one in the other. You've got lots of choices how you want to configure it. Um, often you may choose to have, have two batteries here for a single inverter, um, or, you may, if you, or you may have one set of batteries for a single inverter, depending whether you're running on C1 or C.5. So there's a couple of things. Um, of course, I'm running this with the covers off, which obviously you would never do. Um, it's pretty much like all the other inverters, um, big meaty connections. And you know, look at this, this is, this is, a, this is a double headed monster. You know, these, these two machines here is 100 kilowatt. These are running in parallel. Yes, the parallel is working. These are running in parallel. Um, you see I've got normal light on both. Um, if you come and have a look here, uh, you'll see the battery is discharged. You see the battery right here, discharging if I go to my flow here. Uh, and you can see the power, I'm running a load here of some incandescent lamps. And in fact, the load is pretty well balanced. So it's got 0.53 off that unit. And if I look at this one here, um, it's sli running slightly high. It's probably because the battery levels are slightly different, but it's pretty well balanced. Um, it, the batteries themselves are not on a common bus. They're connected independently. I've got my communication cable here. So my communication cable, so it talks the two, and I've got them on parallel two, parallel one. This is my master, this is my slave. Straightforward standard settings, master and slave settings. I've connected my BMS to BMS port one, the same here, BMS port one. So each inverter is communicating with a stack of batteries itself. So it's got its own communication. Um, you can use two stacks with one inverter. You can use one stack with one inverter. But as I said before, if you're using one stack with one inverter, you probably have to parallel these two cables, these two inputs together, and use some sort of junction box to parallel them. So be careful. Obviously, they're very high voltages. The same on that. Or if you're using two sets of batteries, so if you have your C1, depending on your rating and depends on the size of the batteries you're rating you're using. Um, stand, a standard SunSync data logger runs on the SunSync Connect, which I've set up. Um, I'm going to go through some other training, and there's lots of things here. I haven't actually connected the AC on this at the moment because I'm, I'm a great believer in to test the thing off the battery. If the, it runs on the battery, you get your normal light, then you know everything's going to go through. So I'm going to, on Monday, because um, it's getting a little bit late in Hong Kong, and we connect the AC. Um, I've got my three CT codes here. I've got my AC supply. Um, I just haven't done the haven't done the final connection to the, the fuse one, which I will do. Um, but I just wanted to check to make sure the thing is working and to make sure I can run in parallel. And yes, you can see it; it's fine. Um, we're obviously, software is a work in progress, and uh, these will update to a slightly newer version of software. I will put a link on the software version so you, if you need to update it. It's also, but what I do say is, first of all, always run your system in battery first. Make sure it's running in battery. Make sure you've got good communication with the BMS. It's the same old, same old. It's what you always have to do. Even if you're going to run a 3.3 kilowatt inverter, or you're going to run this monster, you know, think of the uses for this. This, this is a beautiful, it's beautiful. Look at it. The whole thing with the batteries, everything. It's a lot of power here. So I'm going to do a lot of more training videos. 
I promised to do something today to show that the paralleling works. And yes, it works. I, I can't argue it. It's, it's working. It's working beautifully. Um, so everything is all good. Um, I will release lots more videos in the next week or so. I just promised to do something today, as I said. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, and hopefully we'll do more tutorials. Um, and you'll, 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 see, you'll see it as we progress. So I don't want to wrap it on, um, but everything is all good. The, uh, one, thing, one thing you bear in mind, uh, with the inverter, you get these CT coils, massive monsters of a CT coil. Um, you've got two, two inputs here. So you've got for a, a 50 milliamp and you've got for a five amp. That's a five amp CT coil. Of course, I'm just using it on a small cable here. And so I can't fit that because it's just ridiculously big. So I use the smaller CT coil. You do get the big one with it. So if you use a smaller one, you'd have to get some of the smaller CT coils, the standard one to 2000 ratio. Um, and then I, I put it on here. If you use the CT coils with this, especially using larger cables, then you put it onto the five amps. So you've got the two outputs there. Um, there's lots of other things going on on the inverter. It is beautiful. It is really, really nice. But I'll go through some more of the training, understand more about the MPPT, everything else. But uh, the most important thing today was to prove that these two units, high voltage, 50 kilowatt inverters, wired together in parallel at 100 kilowatt with 120 kilowatt of batteries. It works. It works amazingly. So thanks for following us, and I'll put more next week.